All right, more toys. I love lighting as much as I love cameras and audio. Uh, this all started, this series of lighting videos started because I like to shoot outdoors a lot, you know, where I'm talking, but I need to light up my face. So I need portable, battery-powered LED lights that are super bright so they can compete with the sun. But I want them lightweight, small, and portable, obviously, because I carry them out on location a lot. If you haven't seen the first video yet, it's right here. And I compare the basic ones that most people know about, the Aperture, the Godox, and then the expensive ones like the Stellas. The Stella was the one that won the uh, original video because it this is the whole unit. It's This is the battery part, this is the LED part, and it's super bright, super portable, and it's uh, it's just really expensive though. It's like $2,000. So the winner of that video became the Aperture 120D with a Fresnel. The problem is it's so big and bulky and it's got cables hanging and batteries hanging off of it. It's just not a lightweight, small, portable light. So then in the second video, thanks to somebody's suggestion, along comes the non-light Forza 60. That's it, this is the unit right here. It's really, really small, really lightweight, really small, and it's pretty much just as bright as the 120D. Uh, and it doesn't even need a Fresnel to be that bright. The only problem is, and now it's really small, it's really light, it's cool. Now there's two problems with it. One is it doesn't have a Bowens mount. It has its own type of Bowens mount, which is a lot smaller, so you cannot fit standard Bowens mount stuff on here. It has its own things. And the battery dangles from it separately. Uh, it'll take NP batteries or V-mount batteries, but you have to dangle it from a separate thing. And I remember I said originally, I wish they could just stick the battery right on the, the unit like they did on the Godox. This was like my first exciting little foray into something other than the standard stuff that most people know about. Because it's small, it's lightweight, and it costs $340, which is still a little bit expensive for most people. So let's get on with the new exciting ones that I have. I just, um, Amazon is the greatest place in the world. It's always got the latest, greatest stuff. It's just like a toy store. I mean, you can't stop. So anyway, here's what I found. It, this is, this is just, these lights are just as bright. They're cheaper, s smaller, lightweight. First one up is the, the HL800C Well Making. This one here is so small and lightweight. This is it. This is the light. And it's got this really nice rubberized, texture on it, which I really like. It comes with its own um, swivel mount, which is pretty good quality actually. And this comes off, so the light itself, without the swivel mount, that's it. This is the light. It has two buttons on it, one for power and one for brightness. And it did what I wish the Forza did. You can just stick the battery right on the side of it, that's it. So this is how it would be when it's mounted. So now you can have, you got the battery included. It's like the best of both worlds. It's just like the Godox where the battery is part of the light itself. So here the battery is part of the light and that's it. It's just one container. Look at how small this is with the battery. This is one of the heavy duty batteries, one of the big ones. So that's it. This is the unit. It's got, the name is, it's the, the Chinese have got the cutest names. The well making light. The HL800C well making. <laughs> it makes you well when you use it. I just love this light. It's, it's really bright. So you've got something that's just as bright as the non-light. It's brighter than the Godox. It only weighs one and a half pounds and it only costs $200. The Godox costs $300, the non-light costs $340. This is only $200. So this is pretty, pretty amazing. I love it. The well making also comes with a little reflector. It's kind of cheap, but whatever. Okay, so next up we have this one. This is a GVM. Both the well making and the GVM are 80 watts. The Godox is 60 watts and the non-light Forza is 60 watts. These two new ones are 80 watts and they're cheaper, they're brighter, and they're more lightweight. So all around, they're just, I mean, all the categories. They're just as bright or brighter, they're cheaper, they're smaller, and they're lightweight. Now this is how amazing it gets. <laughs> the GVM costs $134 and it comes with an umbrella and a light stand. This light stand came with this light and it comes with a, a white umbrella and this is the light. It's got a handle on it so you can really handle it. <laughs> it's really lightweight, cheap plastic, but I don't care. It, it's 134 bucks. Now by itself, the way it comes, it's a little bit brighter than the Godox. 
but this is where the magic really happens. Both the Wellmaking and the GVM both have real Bones mount mounts on them. As you know, the best way to intensify light is a Fresnel. And the best Fresnel for Bones mount is the Aperture Fresnel, intended for the 120 or the 300. It's only 100 bucks, and it fits and because it's a Bones mount on here. And I did, and I'm always trying to push things beyond what most people do. So here we go. This thing with the Aperture Bones mount just clicked on it easily is so bright. It goes from an EV of 13.3 to 15, which makes it brighter than in anything else I've tested. It makes it just as bright as the 120D with the Fresnel. It's much brighter than the 120D without the Fresnel. So this, for $134, and if you add the $100 from the Fresnel, it's $234, is just as good and bright as a Aperture 120D Mark II. And it's brighter than anything else on the list. So this little thing is so amazing. And without the Fresnel and just the reflector, it's still brighter than the Godox. So this is a great, I mean, for 134 bucks with the stand, which goes up to seven feet, that's pretty tall. You're getting yourself a really good deal. I mean, you can't beat that. Come on, 134 bucks for an 80 watt LED daylight balanced light with a light stand and an umbrella that has a Bones mount. The aperture is almost $900, and this is just as bright. Hell of a deal. All right, next up, we are now moving to the Kame TV Boltzmann series. They come in several flavors. The first one, the most basic one of all, is the F55. Now, you can plug it in with 110 volts, or you can plug a, a NP battery in the bottom of it, or, oh yeah, I forgot to say this also, not only are these lights as fantastic as they are, but they also come with a V-mount adapter. So you can attach a V-mount battery to those when you're on location, as does this. You can attach a V-mount battery to it or the NP battery. This one has a built-in Fresnel that you can adjust by sliding this in and out. It has barn doors, which you can unscrew, which allows you to screw on an optional Bowens mount if you want to use modifiers. This one is the basic model, and I'm, this one is all I need. It weighs 2.4 pounds, and it costs $300. I like it because of the form factor. It's pretty much the exact same shape and size as the Stella, except the Stella is $1,500. This one is $300. They're pretty much the same brightness. The benefit of this, of course, the battery's built in. This one, you have to attach the battery, but it's still attached to the body of this thing. So this is the F55. It's 55 watts. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. And then the next level up is the Q55. This is the more new improved version. It's pretty much exact same light. They say it has 10% more light. I didn't see that. The benefit of this one is it has two NP battery slots. So you can attach two NP batteries to have double the length of time for if you're using NP batteries. It also still runs on V-mount, but pretty much is exact same light. It costs more, $350 instead of $300. And then there's also the bicolor version. This one has, again, two battery slots. So these are the 55 watts for the Kame TVs. They're around 300 bucks, 350. And then they have this one here, which is more heavy duty. This is a 60 watt, it's the B60S. Pretty much the same light level as these. The difference is this is bicolor and it has no fan completely silent. These ones have fans, but they're very quiet. You hardly ever hear them. The Godox has got loud fan. That's what started me looking for things that are a lot quieter. This light you can see is the same size as the Godox, except the Godox has the benefit that this part of it is the battery. Without the battery, that's the, Go that's the size of the Godox. This is the size of the light, and you still need a battery. So, and that's what I don't like about this light is you have to have a v-mount battery somewhere down here dangling on here attached to the stand whereas here the battery is attached to the light it has a built-in fresnel that you can turn and the more you turn it the more see how it comes out so the fresnel is built in on this it's not as powerful of a fresnel as the aperture fresnel but it does work what's funny is this big giant looking thing it's actually not as bright as even the base model, it's a little bit not as bright because I guess it needs, it would need a fan if it did, but it's a little bit, tiny bit 
not as bright. So for me, if I'm going to use the Kane TVs, which I really like, by the way, because I love the form factor, it's just a nice compact unit, it's got the Fresnel built in. Um, the basic one is the one that I suggest because it's only $300, these other ones are $350. I don't need something that takes two NP batteries. If I want more power, I'll just plug a V-mount battery on there, and then I can run for hours and hours. It's got a D-tap cable that then goes in here, so... There's that. So out of all the Kame TV lights, the basic one that started it all, the F55, is the one I suggest. It's the most affordable. It's just as bright as all the others. You can get it as daylight, tungsten, or bicolor, just like these. They say these are brighter. They're not. I really love all, I mean, out of these, there really isn't any favorite. I like this one because I just like the shape and the look and the form factor. This one is super bright, especially with the Fresnel on it. This one is super small. I mean, really, really, really small, the well-being. And they're all really affordable. Really great lights to have. I mean, they're so affordable, you can get a number of them. Everything I'm saying is on this downloadable chart that you can download. The link is below. It has all the lights that I've ever covered on my lighting series. All of them can be battery powered. They're portable. You can use them outdoors when you're shooting, you know, hiking, traveling, whatever it is. Really good LED lights that I suggest for, I mean, you can use them in the studio. You never have to take them out, but that's my criteria. So anyway, um, here's the new ones. I hope this enlightened you. I hope you feel inspired and I hope it helps make you go, hmm. I mean, come on, $134? <laughs> With the light stand and an umbrella and a reflector? Amazing, 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 amazing. And this one I like is not only is it really small, but the battery is part of the light itself. Okay, so that's it for today. I wanted to show you cheaper, smaller, lighter, brighter lights. Well, that's it. See you in the next video. Enjoy the channel. Subscribe. Tell your friends. See you around.